we, we know in many respects, I think management is an initial step toward leadership. It's sort of understanding how the engine works. The leadership piece is knowing what to do to maximize the efficiency of that engine, to maximize what you might accomplish with that resource. And so when you think about management and school systems, we talk a lot about school level administrators or building level administrators, knowing how the school operates, knowing how to serve and support kids, thinking through the logistics of getting a student to school, getting them home, how classroom operations work. And so the management piece is just the moving pieces. The leadership piece is that big shift which says, okay, now we're going to set direction for ourselves. Now we're going to work toward uh, greater effectiveness, greater student success or otherwise, and really saying, I understand the pieces so well that I can move beyond simply managing them. Um, we have a, a colleague who loves to say it's moving from checkers to chess. And I think that's a great way of thinking about it. It goes from a very simple and direct game to a much more complex and thoughtful. It's three moves, it's four moves ahead. And so the leadership piece of, of management versus leadership is moving to the strategic part of serving you know, schools and, and educational systems. And so much of it, and I know that um, you, you hear so many people talk and, and speak of of the difference and you know one versus the other and and sometimes I, I look at it as it's, it's truly a blend as well as, as Dr. Bryant talks about the knowing the, the vision and going from chess to checkers but you got to understand that checker game mm -hmm. you got to understand basically as I used to say the details so many times great leaders can think three steps ahead and think about how to move but if you don't know understand truly where you are and got you to where you are right now how can you move further and sometimes managers good managers uh, they know their people and sometimes they know um, what's behind that organization and what got them there but like I said leadership takes them forward I think you can't take them forward like I said if you don't understand truly the details I think sometimes it's a great blend I've seen great leaders knowing education knowing what they need to do however just what's happening around them they don't they don't know understand they're not taking care of the details so unfortunately they know how to get here or they know where they want to go but unfortunately in today's what's happening around them today is not happening mm -hmm. so therefore I think it's truly a, it's almost a blend of the two mm -hmm. I don't think sometimes we need to say you're a manager or you're a leader I think there's qualities of both that when you put them together I think it's truly when you become successful we're often reminded that in education, you want to set lofty goals for kids in terms of student success and learning and achievement, but if the bus route doesn't get them to school, <laughs> it won't matter. And, and that is, the, as he's saying, that, that detail piece cannot be excluded for the more grand you know, achievements that you're hoping for. Uh, that they, they do both have to coexist. If the bus doesn't run or you don't get them fed or the heat and air right. condition is not working, then learning is not going to happen. So. Right.